Number 30. A firework shell is accelerated from rest to a velocity of 65.0 meters per second over a distance of 0.25 meters. How long did the acceleration last? All right. So let's just draw a quick picture here. Here I have a, a rocket or a firework. All right. And it's going to travel upwards, right? It's going to start at rest. So the starting point here, the initial velocity is going to be zero uh, meters per second. It says it, it, it goes from rest to a velocity of 65.0. So I know that the point up here must be the final velocity. And that's going to be 65.0 meters per second. And it covers a distance, right? So this total distance it covers is going to be 0 0.250 uh, meters. Okay, now it wants to know how long. So basically we're solving for time, right? So we want to know time. Okay, let's think of a formula that may relate these uh, three, excuse me, these four variables together. Displacement, final velocity, initial velocity, and time. And if we go over to the right-hand side, looks like the last equation will suffice. So letter A, write down change in displacement is equal to one half times the initial velocity plus the final velocity multiplied by time. So the displacement they told us was going to be uh, 0.250. It's one half then times the initial velocity, which is zero, plus the final velocity, which is 65.0, multiplied now by my variable t. So let's just clean things up a little bit. So this is 0.250, and it's now Write 65 plus zero is zero, right? And then just take, use your calculator if you need. Um, 0.5 multiplied by 65, that should come out to 32.5. So we have a value of 32.5. And again, I'm consistent three significant figures here because that number has three significant figures. And that's still multiplied by time. To solve for t now, we gotta, right, divide out the 32.5. And now t will become, so let's take 0.25 divided by 32.5, and well, I'm gonna convert it into scientific notation. We need three significant figures. So it's gonna be 7.69 times 10 to the minus, looks like three seconds. So that's quite fast, all right? It's about almost a hundredth of a second. Okay, so great, we did that part. Now for part B, it says calculate the acceleration. Okay, so now I wanna know the acceleration. And we just found the time, so I'll just plug it in here, right, instead of the question mark. I can now get rid of that question mark and now write in the 7.69 times 10 to the minus 3. And that's in seconds. Okay, great. So now quickly, thinking about the uh, acceleration, I'll do that part B on the right-hand side. Um, do we know a, um, an equation set that can relate the variables that I know now? Usually what I'm still going to try to choose, I'm still going to try to choose the original variables because I don't, so the final velocity, the displacement, and the initial velocity. If I can't do and relate that to acceleration, it looks like I can do that through the fourth equation, right? If I couldn't do that, I would then look for an equation that involved time, but I prefer not to do that because in case I made a mistake in calculating the time, I don't want that error to propagate into part B. Okay. So let's write down the formula. So the final velocity squared is equal to the initial velocity squared plus two multiplied by the acceleration times the displacement. <sighs> it's a lot to say, it's a mouthful. So the final velocity of this uh, uh, firework is gonna be 65.0, and that's squared. The initial velocity was zero because it started at rest. Now it's gonna be plus two multiplied by my acceleration, which is what I'm trying to find, then multiplied by the displacement. Right, which was 0 0.250. Okay, so now let's do some math. So take 65 and square it. So this comes in, again, I need uh, three significant figures, so I'm just gonna convert it into scientific notation. So it's gonna be 4.23 times 10 to the third, and that will equal now uh, two times, well, 0 0.250, right? So that should just be 0 0.5. So this would be 0 0.5. 500, zero, zero, three significant figures, A. So divide out the 0.500, divide out the 0.500. Zero, zero. 
So this should be uh, fairly straightforward. So 4 to 3, essentially divided by 5, is just multiplied by 2. So just simply be 8.46, looks like a G, 8.46 times 10 to the third meters per second squared. And that would now be the acceleration. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you.